opportunity to get together today. It has changed how I practice. I called her, I'm like, I'm scrubbing the bathroom walls! <laughs> A lot of people have said to me they feel like the grape works better. Yep. <laughs> I'm in Pizza Hut one night, actually that lamp, that guy was sitting underneath, it's in the basement of our house, you must check it out, I now have it here. Um, he came in and uh, we started hanging out. The first time he came and hung out with me, he said, hey, I want to show you a place. And he was driving me home and it said he drove you. He drove you home. No lie. Right? Am I telling the truth? And when he when he started going off on Highway A, I was like, gosh, where's he taking me? I, I know this road. I know it really well. But when he turned on to French Road, and then when he parked right here, I was like, you got to kid. I was fascinated with the band and the <laughs> No contingencies. So we're like, holy crap! We just bought this in three weeks. And that how we look at things will determine, how we author our lives will determine our outcomes. So how I, to come overcome massive obstacles. And does that mean the obstacles are over yet? No. We also have this amazing gift that only our human species have, but it's the gift of a prefrontal cortex. And a prefrontal cortex is uniquely human. And what it allows us to do is to access curiosity, wonder, tell stories. Sort of what happens to us, right? All those negative voices seem like they know what they're talking about. Now, if you could outnumber, if we all were positive, we wouldn't hear any of those negatives. Last one. <sighs> Most of us live in a pressure world, and Duke Glazier has done some research that says about 85 to 90 percent of our time, our bodies are under enormous pressure, meaning that cocktails, chemical cocktails, are being flooded here to inhibit our ability to speak well, perform well, have optimum hope, etc. I think Amare is the physiological support to it changing is. your thoughts. I have no idea.